the friends in Christ, welcome to Saturday of the third week of Lent. Life is such a struggle that sometimes people find it difficult to realize that they hurt themselves before God by their pride. Obviously, it is possible to realize that you are better than some other people in anything and everything. Does that become a reason to boast? Righteousness is not something one can acquire by mere hard work. It requires the grace of God to do so. Our first reading today is taken from the book of the prophet Hosea, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, and it captures vividly how weak the human person can be if not checked. It began with the invitation of the prophet to his people. Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn that he may heal us. He has stricken and he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up that we may live before him. The prophet recognizes sin as both wound and death. He is certain that God can raise the fallen, for God's anger does not last for too long. He is a God of mercy and compassion. In what looks like an immediate response from God, we also heard, What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? Your love is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes early away. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The people fall as quickly as the morning dew disappears, but far beyond their offerings and sacrifices, they must show mercy to others. The Gospel passage is from Luke chapter 18, verses 9 to 14 and looks at that mercy in the way we judge and condemn others. It was a story addressed to those who trusted in themselves as righteous and despised others. Two people went to the temple to pray, a Pharisee and a tax collector. The Pharisee, Jesus said, prayed with himself, not with God or to God. He simply boasted all the while about his goodness and righteousness. Those were obviously good deeds, fasting, praying, paying tithes, but he obviously condemned the tax collector who did not even dare to raise his eyes to heaven. All the tax collector uttered was, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. He simply acknowledged his unworthiness before God, and for that, Jesus says, he went home justified and not the boastful Pharisee. Do you sometimes see other people and despise them because you are better in some way? Do you taunt others because you go to church more, put more in the offerings, or work harder in the church? It is the grace of God that has made it possible. There is nothing to boast about. Jesus told his disciples, So you also, when you have done all that is commanded you, say, We are useless servants. We have done no more than our duty. Luke chapter 17, verse 10. Let us pray. Lord, bless the efforts you inspire us to make in your name and help us appreciate the efforts of others. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.